Hi, welcome back to Marisa Reddy's channel and today is my sister's wedding episode. It's very nice. Especially Full the banana ba- chitlis yeah. is no no. <laughs> so that you feel like, especially... A- after the okay, even dress coat, so I'm already set up. <laughs> and when the rain set in, I felt I was in a forest only. <laughs> Full rain. It's a little mini event. Both are known people, and so cleaning up that plot, no, every time mulla chitlo, I put all these plants, and then I have to water them in summer. Make this fellow water them, take care of them. Then somebody will pluck the bananas and take it. <laughs> By the time I come back, bananas are gone. <laughs> This is the bride's room. You can see this is a, a traditional art that has been done on the tiles. Like it's done with hand, and uh, I just got to know that it's been there for centuries. And uh, uh, I think we should all try to preserve such things. Uh, it is day day three, and today we have right now we have Vara Puja. Vara Puja is a Canada tradition because uh, the groom is a Canada Canadi guy and so right now I'm just wearing this coming kari because you always wear this patto or banaras so for a change I'm just wearing this. So the venue is like beautiful. It's called the Peacock Grove and uh, it's slightly outskirts of the city but absolutely beautiful, like very vintage, old charm. I will anyway take a tour so you can see the whole place. Start your computations. The location of this place is Ye Lanka and uh, and this place like what I read has like all throughout the year bookings except the rainy part because obviously it's outdoors. I don't think anybody would miss taking pictures with this swing like I've yeah. seen literally everybody stop at this swing take a picture there were some kids who sat on it and would never get off I think we're getting into a weird area here Ah oh, so finally Satvika is getting married then she is the last granddaughter of the last amma in the family like my amma is the seventh daughter and she is the last granddaughter it's like completing one generation of weddings in the family Coming to the love story, they both met in Boston a couple of years ago, dated for a while and decided that they'll tie the knot. They both are so much into adventure sport. They both love hiking, water sports and a lot of things. By the time I even edited this whole wedding, they finished their honeymoon and actually you should see the place kind of places that they chose to go to are like so draining. <laughs> they are not romantic. it's so draining because they chose to do all kinds of deep diving and again trekking and all that kind of thing yeah um you enjoy each other's company a lot more when you have similar interests everything was very very quick because the day before we had first morning vara puja followed by reception and then immediately next day morning 8 o'clock was the wedding and after that everybody left it was all uh, planned very quick and very nicely Passport 
Oh, I mean, I know my flowers are so funny, I think, because I actually asked the hairstylist to put it in a different way, but she understood it like this, I think. I didn't have time to check it in the mirror and I just came out and the mandatory tradition of showing Arundhati Nakshatram at the end of the wedding and that indicates that, you know, your wedding is finished. Start your computations. Oh, you can already see that we are at the airport and uh, we just crossed by this store called Smoor. It looked very nice. Okay, see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.